video, we will be focusing on qualitative analysis. Now, what is qualitative analysis? It is a process of identifying unknown substances in a solution. At all levels, students are required to describe the use of aqueous sodium hydroxide and aqueous ammonia to identify different ions, such as aluminium, ammonium, calcium, copper 2 ions, iron 2 and iron 3 ions, lead 2 ions, and zinc ions. For easy memory, you may divide the cations into two different groups. One group, precipitate, will form with aqueous ammonia. The other group, precipitate, will not form with aqueous ammonia. So let's say we add aqueous ammonia into this solution to test for the cations and no precipitate is formed then we can confirm that that particular cation must be calcium ion. Calcium ion do not form precipitate with aqueous ammonia. So now why is there no precipitate when aqueous ammonia is added to the aqueous solution containing calcium ions? Aqueous ammonia is actually a weak alkali, so it partially ionizes in aqueous solution to form low concentration of hydroxide ions. Now we know that calcium hydroxide is sparingly soluble. So let's say if the concentration of hydroxide ions is low, then calcium hydroxide will remain soluble. Hence, no precipitate will be observed. If you find this video useful, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Don't forget to share the video with your friends. If you'd like to have more chemistry resources, you may check out my website. The link is in the description below. Have fun learning chemistry and I will see you soon.